there's things we did differently coming into this event from the last. It's just being able to play and understand the situation a lot better. You know, a lot of teams, us included, would like to come back in the pits after a rough point and say, hey, it's 0-0, zero, zero. let's go out there and play our game. But the truth of the matter is, you can't go out there and play your game at that point in the match. You need to understand that you're in this situation. You need to build the next point around the situation that you've got yourself into. And I think that's really going to what separated the Saturday teams from the Sunday teams, you know. With only four weeks headed into Dallas from Vegas, with the inclement weather we've had back home and issues with getting the bunker kids, you know, we really have to do what we can to get out there and practice, you know. So, with the fourth place finish in Vegas, we're looking to get out here and do the best we can and hopefully come home with first. So the whole team flew in. We're here at the first day of NXL Dallas. Uh, we're ready to go practice Outlaws and Distortion and uh, should get ready for our matches tomorrow. Guys on the Greedo side. When you're making that 20 cal, 30 cal bump, you're obviously checking off the obvious guys. But people that you're not going to be able to see until you start moving, got to have your gun up. The Boston, the two, and the Rocket. The two being the snakes I can. I think my move would be immediately go to the rocket and dunk that kid from here if he's there. Yes. Well, it depends what, I guess both sides. That's you. So practice today was uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty much what we expected. It's not, uh, it's not really about winning or losing, it's about fine-tuning our, uh, our breakouts, fine-tuning our lanes or shots, figuring out anything that we may have missed in the past uh, few weeks, past five practices, really just ironing out any kinks that there there might be so afterwards we kind of uh, kind of regrouped broke it down uh, with some full stomachs came back here and had a, a meeting for a few hours during the meeting really it's not so much focusing on how we play today it's focusing on any mistakes that we may have made or what we've learned towards the end of the meeting we kind of go over base breakouts and things we'll, we'll work off of but uh, we really don't go through 10 set plays and say these are the 10 things we're going to go out there and this is our game plan. We kind of go off three three base plays and, and let the game dictate how we, uh, how we need to, to go out there to win. So we just got back uh, to the hotel from the field. Uh, we scouted some teams today, watched some divisional teams, watched some pro teams, uh, trying to see what works on the field and see if what we practice doing is going to be valuable today when we play. We're getting ready now in the hotel to uh, go for our first match at 3 o'clock uh, versus Carolina Breakout. At 6 o'clock we're playing Ralph Boys, so two, two pretty good games. The team's pretty confident going into it. We practiced a lot for this event. This layout's playing pretty fast, and uh, we definitely like that tempo. So. So today we played Carolina Breakout, a team we've played in the past. Kind of trade back and forth. We've won a couple, they've won a couple. So we started down 0 1, and it wasn't even a bad way to start the match. Going down 0 1 wasn't anything too bad. What kind of fucked us in everyone's heads 
was when uh, we were up five on three in the second point of the match. Switches from a five on three situation to a three on two, and we're down 0-2. We actually rally back, and dang that, I'm actually, I love the guys on my team for it. If we're down 0-2, everyone kind of just buckles in, and we even the match up 2-2, and from there things got like a little bit shaky. We felt like we had like a lot of momentum, at least I felt like we had a lot of momentum in the match. We were supposed to play Ralph Boys after that, and uh, this lovely Texas weather we're having. <laughs> Do you get, I mean, frustrated losing to teams that you know you're better than? I mean, you're better than them. We're a better team. We played a better match, mostly. I don't want to say you don't seem to want it, but you don't seem to get it. I would rather get 80% to 100% of the time than go back and forth between 100% and 60 at least we know what we are. Alright, well today we're going into Saturday playing three matches. The uh, match got cancelled yesterday, so we're, uh, we're expecting a long haul. Um, we didn't really perform what we were expected to yesterday, so today we kind of reset. We have a new game plan. We're looking to capitalize on today. We're gonna push, push snake side, try to try to lock down the D side, we're gonna try to get to our primaries and work out of there. You know, the weather should cooperate with us today. And uh, you know, the sun should be out soon and we'll be we'll be running our guns. score of the game was a 5-0 win in our favor. Uh, this is it right here. Sunday paintball. No mistakes. We want to make it to the finals. All that shit on Saturdays. On Friday, it's got to go. Tighten up. We're going to play our game. Leave it on the motherfucking field. How the fuck did you guys feel after we left fucking Las Vegas? Let's go, boys. That shit ain't happening again. Get it the fuck up right now. Let's go, Let's go man. That's how you Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go. This is our fucking tournament, our fucking day. Be fucking perfect, yeah. okay?
Our first match today was against a team that we played down in PAP before we came down to Dallas. We came out a little flat, lost a couple points, but we brought it back. It came a little close at the end where it went to time, but we ran out the clock and came away with a W. So we went on to the quarters against DBS Supersonics, and we just strayed away from what we were doing and what was working. It's just there's a level of communication that goes from division to division. We learned the Division three to Division two gap rather quickly. We evolved our Division two communication as we played in the Division two level. But to get to the semi-pro level, Division one level, whatever you want to call it, it's a whole other gap you need to get through. And then to the pro, it's an even bigger one. So you just got to fine tune, get everything across, and make sure everybody's on the same page. Be there for each other.